Let me show you how to upgrade your Zcam with an SSD card. Hey, welcome to Laticam Studio. My name is Damus, aka ProX, and this is your place to be for videography. Thanks to all new subscribers. I see you and I appreciate you. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to put on the notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. Last week, Zcam released a new firmware update and I finally got the chance to install it. I read it got some nice features such as ProRes 422 for every resolution or frame rate, ProRes proxy records in separate files, and they improved the USB performance for recording on SSD. I only use SSD cards so I'm glad they improved in performance because a lot of people complain about the frame drops of the Samsung T5. I use the T7 which has twice the speed of the T5 and never had a frame drop but I hope that this issue is solved with this update. So I'll hook up the SSD to my laptop and I'll show you how to update your Zcam with an SSD card. Let's go. So we're going to head over to the Zcam page, that's z-cam.com. Go over to the support page, firmware update. And that's when you get on the firmware updates page. You can see the way you can update your Zcam and the latest updates. You can find them under see latest updates. Here are the different camera options Zcam has. And I got the E2M4, so I'm clicking on the E2M4 page. Here you can see the latest uh, firmware update, things they added to the new update. And you click on download. And now what you can do is uh, install it directly into the root of your uh, SSD. So don't make a separate folder, it's important that it's on the root of the SSD so click on save so takes two minutes so I'm gonna skip this real quick okay so let's see it in the map this is my SSD card and here's the file that we're gonna use to upgrade our Zcam so unplug it and let's head over to the Zcam Keep in mind that when you upgrade your Zcam firmware that all of your settings will be lost. The camera goes back to factory settings with a new firmware update. So keep that in mind. Now let's install the new firmware on the Zcam. Okay, so I hooked up my SSD card on the side of my Zcam body and it's time to power up the Zcam. So it's powering up. So what you need to do is once you're in the menu, go to menu and go to system. After that, go to the last option where it says version. Right now you see I'm at 97, so press OK. And it says uh, verify the firmware. OK. I have to wait for a few seconds. Yes. Uh, so it says upgrade to version 98 and that's what we want of course so okay and a camera will be rebooted so you have to wait on that so it's finished um, so you have to start all over again put it on English uh, I'm in Europe so I'll go for the 50 Hertz next and time zone london date is the same yes correct okay and now you're back in the menu as you go to system and go to the last option and you can see that the latest version 98 is installed that's it so that's how you install your new firmware on your ccam with a ssd card it's quick it's easy and there are other ways to upgrade your Zcam, but for me, this works best, so I just stick to this option. I got a lot of testing to do, but if you have any questions, requests, uh, just want to say something, leave your comment down below in the comment section. 
Don't forget to subscribe and put on the notification bell so you stay up to date with my latest videos. And I see you next time. Peace.